regular lava flows from Hawaii's Puo volcano are one of the island's biggest tourist attractions. In the past week, the lava has twice cut across the main highway, forcing cars to bank up. Visitors have come in their thousands, including three news cameraman Jeff Mackley. As the lava slowly inches along, it's easy to see why so many people are drawn to the site. They stand mesmerised in silence. It's amazing. It, uh, especially real early in the morning when the sun's coming up and uh, also in the evening, the glow is a lot more. You can see the uh, lava moving a lot easier. Every so often, the lava from the Puo volcano crawls across Hawaii's main highway. The difference this time is that it's been doing it a lot lately. This was the second time in a week. These pictures were taken two days ago by 3 News cameraman Jeff Mackley. Now this may look like the end of the world, but in actual fact, it's just your average night in Hawaii, where for the second time in a week, lava is cutting across the chain of craters road. Now this lava is flowing at 1,050 degrees Celsius. And even in this suit, I can only stand here for about 30 seconds. And that 30 seconds is up about now. Local officials have long since given up trying to alter the course of Mother Nature. Once the lava cuts across the highway, it enters the sea. It's real dramatic because it can explode underwater and it, it drips off into the water. It's really, it's really beautiful. Along with the tourists, professional photographers, all hoping for that one special shot. Very challenging to photograph because it's so hot and we've got the wind blowing right in our faces, but worth it. What isn't worth it is repairing the highway once the flow cools and slows down. Officials long ago gave up. Now visitors can only drive halfway around the island, but it certainly makes for the most spectacular roadblock on earth. Tanya Page, 3 News.
This may look like the end of the world, but this is just another normal day in Hawaii, where yet again, lava is flowing across the road. This time, it's the chain of craters road that's about to be cut off for the second time in a week. Now this lava is 1,050 degrees Celsius, and without this suit, I would have been dead already. So, it's still a good thing not to stay here too long.